channel. You will comment down All right, sexy fans, here we are with another Funko Pop reveal today. Um, and since like we're getting closer and closer to Halloween, I decided to go for one of my uh, other Universal Monster Movie Pops. So today we have the Phantom of the Opera. I love this pop, it's so cool. Um, here's the little side panel. Here's the back. Once again, if anybody knows where I can get the bride, or the Wolfman app, please let me know. Doesn't he just doesn't he just look spooky as all get up? Um, there have been two classic uh, Phantom of the Operas that were made. Um, the first one came out in 1925 and starred Lon Chaney. Um, Lon Chaney did all of his own makeup for this, and all up until the film actually got released. They uh, kind of kept the fandom under wraps because it was supposed to be shocking and scary. And if you've seen the original silent film from 1925, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. Um, and then again, it was made in 1943 starring Claude Rains. Um, I can't figure out which one of the two this is supposed to look more like um, because the makeup for both of them are very different. 1925 was a silent film. And 1943 was a big budget Hollywood blockbuster kind of film. Um, it won, the 1943 version won two Oscars, one for art direction and one for cinematography. And it's the only time ever that any Universal movie monster had ever won or even been nominated for an Academy Award. And this one managed to get two. It's in color, it's filmed in Technicolor, it's a very early Technicolor film. It is a gorgeous film to look at, beautiful costuming. Some of the sets are the same from the 25 one to the 43 one. So you know, 23 years later, they even use some of the same sets. But that's about the same as any of it gets. The two movies are completely different. If you haven't seen either one, and if you have to pick one, see the 1943 one with Claude Rains. Um, the uh, Phantom of the Opera himself is based off of a novel by Gaston LaRue that was written in 1910. Um, even the novel is considerably different than both of the films. It's very pulpy and very kind of gothic in the traditional sense, not in the Bauhaus, uh, alien sex fiend, uh, Christian death kind of, kind of goth that you guys are probably more aware of. Um, this came from the Pop Shack as well. This is a uh, another one of my more favorite pops, even though, uh, and there's the first kitty sighting of the day. Let's see how bad he shakes the camera. We're just going to let him do his thing. Seven. Okay, come, come over this way. <laughs> Stupid guy. Yeah, so uh, Funko Pop. Oh, can he? You know, move your tail. Thank you. Now I can see what's going on. <laughs> um, these movies were all great. Um, I've seen both. I've actually seen the 25 version in the theater. Uh, with a uh, live orchestra playing behind it. And it's definitely one of my more favorite movie-going experiences of all time. Uh, so th thanks. This is just a quick little one just to get something out there so you guys can see the pops. Um, if anybody wants me to go into more detail, I'd be more than glad to. If you have any questions, please leave a comment down below. Um, and once again, please don't forget to subscribe. Please don't forget to leave a comment and like this video. It means everything to me in the world. I'm at 26 subscribers as of the filming of this, uh, but when it gets to 100, it's going to be a mohawk. So this is Captain Sexy Pants, and it must be true because it's right here on my hat. Thanks a lot, everybody. Have a great day. And in the immortal words of my favorite YouTuber of all time, Sunnyside, a peace.